All right, we are now joined by Katie Johnson, and we're going to start first with Mark Weiser and then go to Charles Odom. KD, how are you doing? I'm good. I want to ask you, you obviously had a, had a very good stat line tonight for your, for your first uh, college game. Um, you know, how disappointing was it, you know, to, to see the final result that came with that? And how do you kind of carry your, your teammates along with you to, you know, kind of you, that you could all play at that level? Uh, we just on to the next day and we're going to practice, uh, see what we did wrong and fix the mistakes that we had tonight. Obviously, we had a, a few of a lot of mistakes tonight. We're just going to practice and get better where we, where we left off. Hey, do you have any uh, history with um, Sharif uh, in the Atlanta area in high schools? Or uh, uh, we played in a celebrity game in the summer. We have never got a chance to play each other in a real game. You know, I met him a few times. We were real we're cool off the court. But that was our first real time competing against each other on a real, real actual game. All right, let's have Mike Griffith and then Chip Towers. Hey, hey, Katie, uh, nice job tonight. Hey, I want to ask you about, you know, you had a lot of opportunities to go places. Obviously, you chose Georgia and Coach Crane. And What about his management right now? I know you haven't been playing in the games, but you've had an opportunity to be under Coach Crane this season. What would you say about, about his management right now and where you think this team is at? Uh, right now, we, uh, we're in a, a place where we need to improve on us on the outside, Coach Crean is doing a great job of getting us prepared, him and Coach McClain and the coaching staff and preparing us to the game. But it comes down to us getting on the court and competing and, you know, us being in the game and stopping them and winning ball games. Because he can do so much he can do as, as a coach. But when it comes to the court, you know, we have to get down and do all the dirty work. Yeah, KD, I, I'm curious of your your own assessment of your, your game tonight. You know, having been a while since you've been in a competitive environment, that's your first college game uh, also. And then I'm just wondering the emotional part of it when you first get it. take you a little while to kind of catch your breath and get relaxed, uh, it, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, a couple of minutes, you know, I was, I was juiced up. But, you know, uh, I had my coaches telling me it's going to come to you. Just calm down. Just let it come to you, you know. I was I was pretty amped up before the game, so. <laughs> right. How did you feel that you did overall? Uh, me really, I I did okay. You know, we didn't, uh, you know, get the win. So that's what really I was focused on. I wasn't really focused on me and my personal stats. So I was focused on us getting our first W in the SEC. All right. Let's have Anthony Dasher and then Griffin Callahan. Hey, KD, you know, Coach Crane talks a lot about communication when, when you're on the court. Man, I know, uh, again, you've practiced this whole time, and but it's different, isn't it, when you're in the game and the flow is going and, you know, transition and all that. How far, how difficult was that part of it for you tonight? Um, it kind of it, – it was kind of difficult because of the different setting I was in from practice and, you know, the guys that you in front of, kind of nobody in there until fans being in there and you getting – the actual game and you get the plan and you know so yeah as a team we need to get our talk up but me personally you know I did okay with the talking side of being in the game. Hey KD when the free throws aren't falling uh, like they were tonight um, how big of an impact does that have on the game and what can you guys do to uh, remain effective in a game like this? Uh, just getting stopped. You know, we were scoring the ball. We didn't uh, score it as well as we needed to, but it just come down to defense. You know, they had about six six possessions that they just threw an outlet pass as straight dunks and layups there. So we need to do a better job of talking on defense and getting back and, you know, sitting down and guarding when I, when I did not going on in the offense. All right, and that's all we have time for. Thanks so much, Katie.